Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Rwanda on Lake Kivu uh, and we're just about eight kilometers from Gisenyi town uh, which is in western Rwanda right on the border of Democratic Republic of Congo, but Lake Kivu, it's an incredibly beautiful lake with rolling green hills. Uh, the culture is fascinating, and for this trip, we are staying at a hotel. It's called Paradise Malahid. And in this video, I'm going to walk you around. I'm going to show you the grounds, give you some views of the lakes, and then I'll give you a full tour of our room. The first thing that we're gonna do though is have breakfast. So we just ordered breakfast, and you gotta see the breakfast. Um, yes, two adults, two adults and one baby. That's kind of 300 USD. Yeah. Coffee. And then coffee. <laughs> they bring breakfast out in stages, but we're starting with coffee and they serve all of the coffee in local clay cups and clay uh, And then also you'll see as they bring the other food they serve them on wooden wooden plates, but we got to start with the coffee Oh, here it comes Yes Just lid okay. Right eggs and what's also notable here is that they serve you coffee. It's like, this is like the equivalent of like four or five cups in this per person, <laughs> which is fantastic. Okay, coffee. Coffee is, it's okay. It's, it's not bad. Okay, moving on to the fruit cup, and yeah, served in a, a little wooden cup. Uh, there's tomato, there's mango. Oh, but my favorite is the tree tomato which is in season right now. That tree tomato is delicious. It's like, it is like a tomato, but more sour. Some fried eggs served in a wooden plate. Um, and then we also brought our own avocado because the avocados are in season right now and they are incredibly good. What I'm gonna do is just take half of this, this egg, all oh, the crispy edges. I'm gonna put it right into my avocado. Oh, with pepper. Yeah. Okay, we'll see if this works or not. I hope this yolk doesn't doesn't spill all over the place. Oh, this might not have been the greatest idea. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out so well, but I will just put it down and grab a bite of egg with avocado. Mm. Mm. <laughs> God. I could just spill the hard boiled egg. Mm. My God. Avocado and egg. What a combination. Okay. And we can sit back. My God. It's hot. Breakfast is great. Um, there are so many things on the table, but even better is this relaxing on this kind of sofa, wooden local sofa, um, and with the view over Lake Kivu. It's, it's spectacular. Okay, I finished my five cups of coffee. Breakfast was delicious. And can you hear in the background? There are some boats going out and every now and then you can hear them chanting the, the rowing song. Okay, from here, I am going to walk you around. Actually, I might just kind of relax for a little bit and then I'm gonna walk you around. I'm gonna show you the property and then give you a tour of our room here. We may as well start the tour right here uh, since we just finished breakfast right here. But this area, it's actually a small little peninsula is really the highlight of this hotel. Uh, so you get at least 180, actually even more than that, surrounding views of the lake with the green hills in the distance. Uh, but you can come around here to eat, to hang out, to relax, to have a drink. This is the ultimate chill spot area of this hotel. And one of the, it's definitely the highlight. There's just nothing better than just chilling on these, these outdoor sofas, looking at the lake. Even as I just sat down there for a couple minutes just making the video, I didn't want to get up. That's how relaxing it is. Yeah, this is another awesome, awesome spot. You can see the mountains in the distance and over across the lake, that is Democratic Republic of Congo. We're very close. Um, and if you go into the town, which is about eight kilometers away, that, that's where the border is to cross over into DRC. 
and they've done such a good job with the plant life, the landscaping, the flora and fauna here. This particular bench is a little bit on a slanted angle, so it might not be the most comfortable to actually sit on for a while. But I do love this like laid back style, kind of like, yeah, it feels like you're on an island. I just love this type of little hangout spot. So this is the reception area. It's a little bit dark in here, but it just has the natural light. Uh, but it kind of has a jungly appearance to it. And when you walk, you really crunch on these on these volcanic rocks. Uh, but then they have the reception check-in. They have you can you can also eat in here. They have little seating sections. I'll just take a seat right here. But yeah, you can see it's made from from a canoe. Oh, this one's a little bit small, but it does make a a nice little unique uh, sofa. And step out of the reception. This is actually the front of the hotel. This is the parking lot. This is where you enter off the road. But then the rooms are over mostly on this side. You walk through this bush tunnel uh, and this is where most of the, the rooms are located, including our room. This is our room right here, but Micah and Ying are taking a nap right now. And also our room is a little bit dirty, so I plan, I think what I'll do is I'll show you the rest of the property and the beach over here. Uh, and then when they clean the room, when Ying and Micah wake up and when they clean the room later today, after that, I'll give you a tour of our rooms. A very cool thing about Paradise Malahid is that they have their own private little beach here. Uh, I haven't really gone swimming, uh, but the view is spectacular. And it's kind of, the peninsula is over on that side, but then the beach is right here. There, it's a nice option to be able to relax here as well. Now, the thing about swimming in Lake Kivu, as well as a lot of the Great Lakes in Central Africa, is that there is a potential for this one disease. It's something you should uh, research before swimming, but there's a disease, I believe, from a snail, and uh, it's it, it's potential that you can get it if you go swimming. We've had breakfast. I've walked you around the compound, the grounds. I think I've shown you pretty much everything. Uh, the last thing to show you is the actual room tour. I'm going to give you a tour of our room. Welcome into our room. And what I like is that immediately it has this cool effect, I think because of the stone and how it's built. Uh, but it's really nice and cool in here. And this door, it kind of has a problem. It's not the, hasn't been the best maintained. It doesn't actually close. So in order to close it, you have to, you have to lock it. So you can lock it or actually you may as well just leave it open, Aaron. Let's begin with the bed made of local wood. Oh yeah, it's actually quite a nice bed. Um, it kind of, sometimes it's kind of on a slant, uh, but that's okay, the, the, the mattress is pretty comfortable. And another thing is that you should use the, the mosquito net. I've been using the mosquito, we've been using the mosquito net every night. And then over on this side of the room, there are some bamboo relax chairs. Ah, not bad at all. And then finally the bathroom is right here. Open this, let me turn on the light. Turn on the lights. It's mostly stone. There's a nice, it's a really nice bathroom actually. The shower, the shower has been great. They have really good hot water and the pressure of the water is also really a lot of a lot of pressure. So this is one of the best showers I've had in Rwanda. And the shower is just like straight pipe to shower head. So that's why the pressure is so good. And the hot water really works well. And I think that's all there is to show you in the room. The room is basic, it's a little rustic. I really like the style though and the localness of the room and it fits with this entire, with the whole hotel concept. And I was just talking with one of the staff uh, who said we could take a boat ride later this afternoon. Uh, but if we end up going on a boat ride, I'm gonna share it with you next. It got a little bit overcast this afternoon, but still very nice. We have decided to take a boat ride. Oh, Ying and Micah have already jumped in the boat. While I was in the room. Hello. Hello. Nice. Hello, huh? Hello. Oh. oh, you are the captain. I am captain. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Michael, you're riding the boat. Oh, oh yeah. ride is amazing and right now we're just passing the market area for the town village and we're passing the, the triple boats uh, which is their unique 
fishing boat style. And they have, you'll see they have these giant poles attached to them and they attach the, the nets uh, for fishing the sambaza, which are the, the small sardine-like fish. just been cruising around in the boat it's so peaceful it's so relaxing the views are stunning and as the Sun starts to go down as it starts to become sunset just the the reflection off the lake you can see the mountains those are all in Democratic Republic of Congo over on that side it's it's beautiful it's serene <laughs> We just finished with the boat ride. That was fantastic. That was so relaxing, beautiful. Oh. We've come to the end of this review and full tour of Paradise Malahid on Lake Kivu in Giseni, Rwanda. Uh, we've spent three nights here and it's been a really relaxing stay. Uh, one thing I have to mention is that the staff, all of the staff, the waiters, they're really nice, they're really helpful, they're really friendly. Uh, all of the staff have been very, really, really top notch. I think the best reason to come here is to kind of do nothing and just kind of lay back in these chairs, uh, sip on a beverage, just hang out. It's a good place to come with family. For our double room, we paid $90 per night. I, I think it's a fair value for what you get and for what is here. And yeah, a, a fantastic place. And thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing more travel reviews, more accommodation reviews like this, transportation, all sorts of travel information. Uh, so if you're interested, be sure to subscribe and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Goodbye from beautiful Lake Kivu. I'll see you on the next video.